Ben is an assassin with good frame data, good combos, and pretty good speed, and has a crazy zero to death. He actually has a lot of zero to deaths. But the thing is, if he misses those zero to deaths, he will die at any percent. So you gotta be careful on what you're gonna do with this character. Uh, one thing I want to mention is the IDM, that's what I call it, but it's really called instant double jump, no, instant dodge movement. And you just do this. Or, you can really do it with every single area with this character. Uh, doing the instant dodge movement is very important for Finn because you can do combos like this. Oops. Um, show it as a if I don't get it. Uh, you can do combos like that, and it, they may not be a true combo, but you can pull it off on most players. I know I have. But uh, yeah, let's get into his kit. So. Jab is probably his fastest move. It's probably also his most safe move because of the hitbox, how far he is from his opponent when he hits them, and just how fast he gets out of it, like out of the animation. So like even if you miss, you're good. You know what I'm saying? Like if you miss the first jab, then you're you're fine. You're not gonna get hit most of the time. And this combo can lead it into some zero to death so far. Um, including the one I showed you in the beginning of this guide. Well, like, what I was talking about. You could do this. You can even do combos like this with the, with like, jab, jab, side special, the 16%. Having it not charged at all for so this 13%. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a good, it's pretty good. You can also use jab jab into backpack for kill confirms, or jab jab emo chop, or jab jab down kill. You know what I'm saying? That's jab is just very good for a lot of things combos, kill confirms, all of that stuff. So I recommend using jab out of most of your moves. Next up I want to talk about is up tilt. Um, this move, this move is very rangy and very good when it comes to combo extenders like this. Oh, man. Oops. You know what I'm saying? It's good for combos like that. It's also good for you know, just reading your opponent, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your opponent, like, if you realize that your opponent dodges out every time you hit them with an up tilt, you can just read where they're going and then just keep hitting them with up tilts. You know what I'm saying? And then once they run out of dodges, then you just go for, like, your zero to deaths or something like that. I do that with big characters sometimes. Because most of the time when I face people, they don't really dodge out of my up tilts as much as they used to. So if your opponent dodges out of your up tilts, like your random up tilts, just keep doing it until they run out of dodges and then they just go for like a zero to death or something. Next up is neutral attack. Uh, this move is very good when it comes to ledge trapping and two framing your opponents. Especially if it's someone like Wonder Woman, where she relies on her uh, down special to get back on the stage. Finn can, if you have armor crush, Finn can just fully charge his neutral attack and boom, just hit her, just hit her just a billion times until she just dies. So it's very good for that. It's also good for combos like this, but I wouldn't really do that. It does a lot of damage, don't get me wrong. A short combo like that almost 20 percent but you can do combos like this which is more damage and is also a kill confirm so it's like you know there's just not much you have you should do with this move besides uh two framing and like ledge trapping next up is down tilt 
Uh, this is a armor breaking move. No matter if it's fully charged or you have armor crush, it's just uh, just a move that breaks shield. It's very good. It's it does a lot of damage. Again, you can do this combo, with kill confirm, and just a combo in general. It can also extend to stuff like this. Oh, I guess not. You know what I'm saying? It's it's pretty good. I wouldn't really use it for anything else. You can use it to spike your opponent, but it's like, what are the odds of that? You know what I'm saying? They have to be like right here where Finn is standing. Next up, I want to talk about his light aerials. I want to talk about Nair first. This move is insanely good when, rather if you have it on cooldown or not, just because of the combos it can do and like how fast it kind of is. Uh, it can also break shield, so that's very good as well. You've seen me use this move a lot when I was using combos. You can even do it like that. You can even do the dodge, the instant dodge movement. Oops. But yeah, this, this move's really good. This, this move's really good. I recommend using it a lot. Like, even if your opponent is, like, over here, and you're, like, in front of them, and your Nair has a cooldown, still use Nair, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you use up special, you're probably gonna run out of gold. Or if you use Sair, you can use Sair if you want. But even if, like, you use side special, you're probably gonna die. So, either use Sair or Nair when it comes to that situation. Speaking of Sarah, I want to talk about that move. This move, I mainly use it for a combo like this. I guess I'm not or, like totally. Oops. Or like this. Kind of the same combo. You know, you think it's, that will stop me? it's kind of different. It's really good for those combos. Um, but it's also just good in general, you know what I'm saying? It's just very good. Uh, next up is up air. Uh, this move is very fast. It's more of a combo extender than anything. And it's not as good as all of his other, um, arrows. But it's still something, you know? You can do combos like this. I don't know. I, I just uh, made that up on the spot. But yeah, this, this move's okay. Um, I wouldn't use it that much. But if you want to, you can. Next up is down air. Uh, this move is good for combos like this. You know what I'm saying? Quick 20%. You can use it to spike if you want, like you can use like aerial down special and then down air to like spike them or something. It's pretty good. But yeah, I wouldn't really use it for anything else. If you use it for combos, like down air into up air, or down air into nair, and the air one to backpack, or down air into uh, air. You know, it's pretty good. It's 11%. It's not that bad. Uh, next up, I want to talk about his specials. Well, his shop, actually, is what I want to talk about. So, 500. This is his grounded down special, by the way. So, if you just go down on your movement stick and click whatever is your special button, this will pop up. So, 500 gold is speed boost. Six, 600 gold is armor buns and a thousand is BMO. Now, in my opinion, the best one is probably BMO just because how you can reflect projectiles and how early he kills and just how great his combos are. Second best would probably be speed boost. I would use this if you feel like you're not doing well against someone who's faster than you. Uh, and armor buns is just it's okay you can use it for characters like rain dog but yet again you have shoulder bash which i'll mention uh later in the video but yeah this move is to make sure you choose your shop wisely 
because you also got to remember you're using dash attack and up, up B to like, you know, kill and stuff like that. Um, I want to show you guys what BMO can actually do because a lot of people are not using BMO and I feel like he needs to be used more by 10 minutes. So he's at 110, you know. You know, it's not as a high percent as a low percent as I thought it would be, but it's like a hundred, hundred and ten percent. If it's maxed, like if the meter is maxed, Bima will have this armor move. It will be more effective and it will be faster. Um, this replaces your high five, which I will mention later in the video, which is your neutral special. So keep that in mind. I forgot to mention his dash attack. This move, I don't even use it that much. I need to use it more often. Every Finn main used to use this move more often. This move is so good. It does 11% with 200 gold. And it just kills very early with a good amount of gold. He's at 90. So that killed at like 90 with 1,000 and like 500 so it's, it's really good this move is just very good and people need to use it more i used it to beat chance and i didn't really need to use it for that but it's i still you know used it a lot in one so it's very good i recommend it now i want to talk about his uh specials uh, high five is literally the same thing on the ground and the air. It's, this is probably his worst move, if I'm gonna be honest. It's probably one of the worst moves in the game. Just because of how small it is, it's probably the smallest hitbox in the game. And, like, it's literally, his hitbox is the palm. Like, is it's his palm. Like, it's not that good. You can use it for clips if you think you're like good as Finn or like you want to show off or something. It does 14%. It's pretty good, but like I wouldn't use it at all type of thing. If it's maxed out, that's a break shield, I'm pretty sure. And it just does a lot of, it does a good amount of knockback and a good amount of damage. So if you want to use it, you can. But I don't recommend it. Next up is his uh, new, not new special, his down special. Again, it's his shop if you are on the ground with his down special. But if you're in the air, this is what his down special is. He like kicks his bag and sends him uh, upwards. This is good for combos like down special and uh, oops. down special on the down air, or, you know, again, I mentioned that earlier in the video, you could just down special and down air for, like, kills and stuff, um, but yeah, that's pretty much what down special is, in the air and on the ground, uh, up special is his backpack that everyone talks about on why they hate the character, um, this move breaks shield, I'm pretty sure, because it's a multi-hit. I've broken shield with it plenty of times, so I think it breaks shield. Um, this move is good for combo finishers. Um, what, what else? It's good for kill confirms. And, you, you know, you've seen me do it a bunch of times, so it's, it's really good. It's one of his best moves, if not his best move, is his up special. It's literally the same thing on the ground, too. It just doesn't really, yeah, it's just literally on the ground. It's just, it's not in the air. But that's pretty much what it is. And now we are on to our last move, I'm pretty sure. And that is side special. This move on the ground is insanely good. You can use it for combo extends like that. Quick 23%. You can use it to block projectiles. Hold on, let me show you what I'm talking about. Just look. Boom, off of one move, it's gone. Off of one move.
I can show you even more that he can do with this move. Like, Finn can literally break Batman's battering. And that is like one of the best projectiles in the game, if not the best projectile in the game. And I'm pretty sure he can do it with his aerial too. Yeah, he can do it with his aerial one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So you can break projectiles with your aerial side special and your grounded side special. It's just an insane move. And I'd recommend using it. If you guys are wondering what perks I use, I use Backpack Strength, Snowball Effect, Last Stand, and Puggy List. I will change uh, Last Stand for Speed Force Assist if I'm facing someone like uh, Harley Quinn or uh, Arya Stark, you know, fast characters. But if I'm playing against someone who has armor moves like Wonder Woman, Steven, uh, Jason, and Superman, I'll go Armor Crush and... I would keep last stand on because most of the time they're probably not a fast character. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.